Hello everyone, uh, in this short Mokera video we will show you how to trace an image. Uh, this is a very efficient and fast way for you to build some model. Uh, instead of from scratch, you can just uh, build from an existing uh, image uh, so that you will ease your further processing. So uh, let's first uh, try to search some uh, image online. So we try to get this uh, Angry Bird image. This looks not bad. Wow, this is a huge bird. Anyway, and then we can just uh, copy this uh, URL of this image. Uh, then you go to your uh, Mugera client drawing area and choose this uh, image button or picture. You have two ways to import an image into your uh, canvas. One is to choose a file from local or file, di uh, file system, or you can just directly uh, paste an image URL. Uh, this is the way we are doing. We will be doing now. Just uh, Control V. You can get this image and you see fetch. Uh, trying to get this image and load it here. You see select. The image will be uh, put into the the center of your of, of your canvas. Uh, let's uh, adjust it a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so this is the uh, imported image. Uh, in order to trace it, let's first uh, uh, get this uh, timeline. Uh, we may notice that. Uh, so this imported image has been automatically put into the first uh, frame of the first uh, of the of the of the layer. What we can do now is first we just uh, re uh, change the property of this image, make it uh, let's see semi-transparent. The purpose for doing uh, this in, into a semi-transparent is to uh, so that you can see through it. So for this image, because the uh, edge is kind of the uh, Dark. We just uh, uh, choose a maybe uh, make it transparent even further. Okay, and after that, uh, make you can you can lock this frame so that you will not uh, mistakenly edit this frame so that you cannot select it and edit it once you lock this frame. Oh, sorry, this layer, and then you create a new layer. Make sure to create your new layer uh, maybe beneath. Beneath the uh, the background image layer, let's maybe first uh, change this uh, uh, layer's name to background, and uh, the, the 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 layer you want to draw as it uh, as draw. Make sure you move your drawing layer beneath this background layer. The reason for that is uh, this is a truly see through. Otherwise, your drawing will hide the, uh, the imported image and you will not see it. In order to move around, um, uh, change the order of this layer, you can just select these two, uh, uh, move up and move down. You just move down so that your drawing layer will be uh, put beneath, it, uh, beneath the you know, uh, background, background layer. Then now you can choose your image. So as you can see, or my, you might have already uh, figured it out. You can just select a different shape. Uh, and uh, as you can see, since you have put this uh, drawing layer beneath your uh, background image, you can see through this image and see what you have drawn uh, using the same way to draw different parts of, the, uh, of this bird. Oh, this is the work you uh, you may.
may need some time to tune and uh, get some satisfied result. For me, I will just stop here and uh, select these two drone curve and combine them together to shape the the header, the head of the of the bird of the angry bird. Mm, let's uh, let's make the the edge black and thicker. And the internal, so it's, I think it's red. Kind of the red. Okay. Mm, yeah, I think that's the basic shape of the outline of this of, of this angle bar. So in order to see your result, you can do is you can just hide one layer, which is this background layer, uh, to see what, what what is the result of your of your drawing, and then get it up and down so that uh, you can see it very easily. Let's get this eye down, and uh, I don't want to. Oops. Oh uh, yeah, because this background layer has been locked. We have to go to the the, the bird bird layer. Okay. Make the eyeball as as as. as Okay, I, I don't want to finish this whole bird, uh, but you can, as you can see, it's very easy. It's just a, a matter of uh, how much time you want to spend on that. And you can see uh, we have drawn the basic shape of this angle bird. You can t uh, keep going in along this path until you finish this drawing. So uh, I just leave this to you and uh, just uh, have fun. Okay, thank you.